Hey, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Coral Island. Let's go ahead and begin by checking the TV. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith. I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm, so I got some tips for you, Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. I'm going to tell you the first thing my pop told me when I planted my first corn. Is this a rerun? Yep, it is a rerun. Okay, these will happen quite a bit. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding areas. Tomorrow's forecast is sunny and clear. Wear sunscreen. Mass Detective Arc 1. I try to be as normal as possible. Normal clothes, normal jobs. I already stand out enough with my hair and eyes. No need to make it any worse. Mochi Mochi. Is that what that says? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm, saying, I'm gonna guess it's Mochi. Unfortunately for me, I have a gift that I can't ignore. I always search for the truth. I figured it was like a Batman thing. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I heard you're looking for Mochi. Well, not Batman. There's another comic book character. I, I can't think of the name. It's been so long since I've done anything with comics. Yes, my cute little doggie. I think someone took her. The last time I saw her, she was napping in here. Hmm, interesting. Gotcha, she's here, ma'am. Oh, Misato, I was about to call you, but a telemarketer called me and wouldn't let me hang up. Mochi just wanted in here. I wandered in here. I think she smelled the ribs I was cooking. If a telemarketer calls you and wouldn't let you hang up, just hang up. What do you mean they wouldn't let you hang up? Just hang up. Oh, thank God, Mochi. How did you get here? I can answer that. Mochi left through the open back door of your house. Then she snuck through this loose fence and walked all the way here. Mochi's a cute dog. There's a loose fence. I need to get that fixed immediately, you naughty puppy. Don't ever do that again. Thank you so much, young man. Let me make you a cup of tea as thanks. Oh, no need, ma'am. Seeing Mochi safe is all the reward I need. Well, case closed. Back to normal life for me. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty funny. No! How dare you. Oh, hey, I got a wild seed back. Sure, I'll plant that. Wait. Oh, right here. At least it gave me a seed back for my troubles. It took one of the flowers that were pretty much growing... That sucks so bad. I can't believe you've done this. And you know what? You know what sucks? It hasn't happened yet, thank God. But apparently, and I remember this happening, or maybe I'm just imagining things, but I'm almost 99% sure that it happened. But uh, you can have multiple crows at once. So you, I've only went up to two, but I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it happened. But yeah, crows, man. It gave me a mission when I started to build a scarecrow. And I can't build a scarecrow because I don't have a farming level one. Alright. Well, last episode we got our bug net and fishing rod. I'm going to go catching bugs today. So I'm going to catch a few bugs on screen and then we'll skip to when I'm done. I'm also going to take this chance to forge. But bugs are the top priority so I will be, you know, throwing away other stuff. Or eating it if I need energy. Got it. So you see how it was running away, but I still was able to catch it? There's one bug that I know of that runs on the ground that if it runs away, you can't catch it. Even if it glows and it looks like you can catch it, you can't. It just will run through the bug net, I guess. Pipe vine, swallowtail, butterfly. Look at its majestic wings. It is pretty. Oh, if you're wanting a bug catching thing for, um... Well, I guess it ain't really bug catching, but there's, uh, I think Project Starlight is what it's called. I don't remember the full name of it because I haven't seen the mod in a while, but it's, uh, it's really cool. Check it out if you want it for Stardew Valley. I'll put a link in the description for it. If you want to check it out, check the link, check the description for a link. Butterflies are hard to catch. Dang it. Not close enough to catch that one. nothing over there all right Ooh, some flowers and wasabi say hi to our isn't this the ma is this the mailman yeah I've been doing a lot of breathing exercise since pufferfish revealed themselves they make me angry and I don't like being angry I won't like him when he's angry some wasabi not a lot of bugs no I've caught one there's a bug it's a wasp Yep. Dangerous when agitated. Keep back. Oh, I should have brought my hoe with me. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. 
Right, there's another bug. Uh, this is a prime mantis, prey mantis or whatever. And it got it escaped to the tree instantly. <laughs> All right, well that sucks. There's a bug right in there. Got it. Master of disguise. Awesome. There's a monkey doing a flip. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's go over here. Got another one. Nice. I have had this open up, so I know what this is about. But uh, we'll deal with that when it comes. I don't know if it's a set day or something. But uh, it, it's pretty interesting. You'll recognize what it's like whenever we get it. Ooh, a fruit. I'll take the fruit. Alright. I'm going to catch one more bug on screen. And then I will skip to when I'm done. That way we can have more days in one episode, you know? I feel like that's the right thing to do. That way we have more things going on and we progress faster. Can't wait till that opens. They sell some crazy stuff. I can believe that's where I bought my first uh, sprinkler. Sprinklers are pretty annoying to make in this game. Because you need certain things from uh, the ocean. I'm pretty sure he's the one that runs that shop too. Alright, I caught one more bug. But I want to catch a new bug on screen. But I'm going to show every bug I catch if it's new. So... I'll see you guys whenever I catch a bug. Pretty sure this is the bug that I can't catch. And look, see, it just won't catch it. It's it's really annoying when it does, when I run into those. I hate them so much. I have caught them before, obviously, but uh, there's a skill point I forgot to pick. Um, it seems like you can only have five, so I'm gonna go with 15 speed because that sounds awesome. So now I run faster, which is just great for foraging. The Little Wood Satyr Butterfly. I probably, I probably said that wrong. Known for its wooden brown color, it often, it's often found in grassy areas. Look what I found. I found a treasure chest. Handy tree seeds. I've never seen this one before, so I, this is one I've never gotten. That's interesting, though. You can always use those uh, candy tree seeds. Uh, while we're here, here is a fly. They can taste with their feet. Ew, that'd be horrible. <laughs> have I talked to you? Yeah, I have. I've, I've, I met, have I met you? But yeah, I've met her. All right, grab this. All right, I'll be back. All right, check this out. I'm over here, right? No cutscene. But I'm pretty sure the cutscene should take effect. Um, first, let's. Well, I was gonna say let's catch that, but that's not happening. Cutscene activates right here. That is so weird. And it can also activate uh, by the science lab, which is also weird. Like, why why doesn't it activate when I come right here? You're not welcome here. Hello, all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Miss... Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... If I may, red shirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake across the beach. See where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town. Yeah, because that sounds <laughs> exciting. Parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. 
Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you will see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier. Inside, fish and sips, enjoying life. Red shirt. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out. Expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Ugh. Pufferfish investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. But I agree with everyone. I like the building, though. The building's pretty cool looking. Even though the top part kind of looks like a parking garage. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. I especially like this part. This is pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to build this in Minecraft. Not gonna, because my building skills are terrible, but still. Do, 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 do. Take a drink real quick. I'm drinking something called Zion's. It's an energy drink. I like the Fuji apple flavor I had, but the grape ones, eh. No energy drinks does grape flavor justice. Like, they all taste the same. Kingly, right? Oh, I know you. Please make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Kingly, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Alright, there's that cussing. Oh, hey, the bug's back. No! My inventory's full. Yeah, I was gonna go uh, deposit a bunch of stuff in, at home, so... I'll see you guys when I'm done doing that. Striped Garden Caterpillar makes it home... Makes its home in gardens. The Pine Sphinx. It's perfectly camouflaged amongst grass and leaves. Oh, would you take a look at this? There's a quest on the notice board. And a calendar. Oh, today was Joko's birthday! I didn't even know this was here. Okay, well now I do. We missed Joko's birthday. Uh, one cauliflower deadline two days. I don't think I'm gonna have that, but I mean, I'll try. Um, okay, uh, there's something I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna hide the quest hub because it's glitch thing. The glitch that I was uh, talking about where it'll show me it every time I reload the game and stuff like that and repin stuff is still there. I, I wish it wouldn't show this either. It's just a distraction on my screen. Like, it doesn't need to be there. If you if you disable the quest hub, this little scroll thing should not be there. It's a little weird. But yeah, I'm just finishing up this. I'm almost done. I just have a few more treasure chests or, sorry, trash bins, I guess, to go through. And then I'm done. Um, I've caught a bunch of bugs today. I'm sure I'm going to level up, which would be nice. Tomorrow, we'll probably do some fishing. Or wait, no, tomorrow's the 5th. I believe tomorrow we unlock something special. But anyways, let's head back home. I think we're done for the day. I think I've caught everything that I can cut. Well, actually, give me a sec, because it's nighttime. They should appear. This wasn't the bug I was talking about, but Hickory Horned Devil looks like the devil, but it's completely harmless. It's kind of cute, actually. Centipede, does it really have a hundred legs? So, uh, if you run out of energy, you don't really have to worry. You can just eat anything and you won't, like, you can literally get to zero and it won't matter because you can just eat something and it fixes the entire, you know, issue you have. Man, OBS is really lagging on this game. I'm hoping that doesn't show through the final thing. But, uh, Firefly caught. Now, see, my inventory's full. You might be wondering, well, where'd the Firefly go? It went into the water, I'm guessing, because it should have still let me catch it. Well, that sucks. Um, let's head home. Huh. That's weird. Usually it falls on the ground and lets you get it again, but it didn't do it this time. It's getting late. Yes, I know, game. And I'm pretty sure you can stay up until 4. But uh, I do want to show you something. I did organize the chest quite a bit. 
a lot. So we have tools right here. We'll put this up and we'll get the watering can out for tomorrow. We have random stuff right here. Quick transfer. Those are not random. They're um, materials. We have bugs right here. Look at all the bugs I caught today. That's crazy. Not all those were for today. Some of them were already in my chest. But uh, I'll explain something to you in just a minute. The fish. Flowers and stuff like that. And then junk or shells too. Because I'm going to put the shells in there. Now we need to make some money. Now I'm going to explain something to you. Um, so far that I know of, you've got two things you can donate to. The museum and the shrine. The shrine will not show up on here yet until we actually get the cutscene for it. So I'm going to give you this advice for now. Whenever you get two of a bug or any kind of object, sell the extras because you don't need them for now. The bugs and stuff, you always want to make sure you have at least two of. And I would keep the quality ones just in case because there are some quality stuff you have to do. But yeah, for fish and stuff like that, always keep two on hand until you know what you need. Um, I can find these a lot, so I'm just going to sell them. I'll keep one just for now. Because I know you don't donate these to the museum, so. Keep the quality ones. You never know when you'll need them. And I would say keep the shells. But at least keep one, because you don't know if you'll need the shells either. Once you get the shrine, you'll know. Alright, let's go to bed. Pretty sure you can stay up till 4. Not 100% on that. Level 1 catching. This is the uh, insect scent that I was talking about when I first started this game. This stuff did not work for me. It did not help at all. The scent would show up and you could see it, but it would not help me catch insects. But that's cool. 725, we got 1400 gold. Or coral, sorry, it's coral bucks, I'm going to call it. Spoils of the land. How are you all? Ready for your next tips and bits on living off the land? You could find shiitake mushrooms in the forest. And obviously the chance of finding them is higher after a rainy day. Like my life coach always says, rain brings life. Duh. Sunny and clear. Game of cones. Excuse me. Games of cones. Or game of cones. Hello viewers, welcome to Game of Cones. A fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. As always, our judge is the meanie with a heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramsay's. Excuse me. Today we have two contestants trying to win the hearts and stomach of our stony chef here. Gordy, tell our chefs where the what today's theme is. Today's theme is simple and something very every something every good chef should know how to do. Soup and soup will do. Chefs go cook. I don't know how to do a Gordon Ramsay voice. I'm sorry. And they're off. Let's check up on the first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? I'm keeping it simple. Growing up, one of my favorite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. That's what I'm going to make today. Hmm, sounds delicious. Let's go to our contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, what will you be serving our grumpy chef? I live by the ocean and it irks me. People throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. I don't, I don't know. I don't, that doesn't sound good to me. I love fish. I don't think I can eat the head. I don't think I've had... I don't think I've had that before. Let's ask our sturdy chef what he thinks. Gordy, what makes a good soup? It could be a dual hearty meal or side dishes that perfectly complements the main. But here I'm looking for a soup that can stand on its own, feeling warm and hearty. So wouldn't the tomato soup with the grilled cheese not count because it's with grilled cheese? Yeah, I don't think I can eat that. I'm sorry. If Take out the head and it looks delicious, but I cannot eat the head part. <laughs> and it looks like our chefs are done. Let's take a look at our first dish. What do you think, Gordy? Oh, very nice. I like the bit of kick that Ginger gives and the head perfectly thickens the soup. Well done. Let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? That looks delicious. I love good tomato soup. This is certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it has enough of that wow factor. Delicious, nonetheless. Both chefs delivered great dishes, but I think Chef Rob won today's challenge. Simple, consistent, and reminds me of the days my mother would take care of me when I was sick. Congratulations, Chef Rob. Not only have you melted the Grinch's heart, but you also won a lifetime supply of tomatoes and the cast iron throne. Whole is... Oh my. Oh my god. I've never watched Game of Thrones, but I recognize that, okay? I recognize that. <laughs> Except it's made with pans. Oh my god. Wow, thank you. Um, That throne doesn't look very comfortable, is it? Isn't it? It isn't, Rob. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. What the...
What the hell? That was amazing. Oh, yep, we do get it. This is the mines, if you didn't know. Yes, good morning, I'm Mark. You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? Yes, it was closed and now it's open. Catch any of that? The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Just don't don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. Monsters. It is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Ch waste of time. Alright, we'll go to the mines later, but look at this. Flowers. Now, I did say keep some stuff. Because you never know what you need for the shrine. But, for now, I'm going to sell all these because it doesn't really matter. We're going to go to the caverns later. I'm not really worried about it at the moment. Uh, I do want to explain some stuff while I'm watering. So, when I first played uh, this after the Game Pass version, when I was trying to make my um, little compilation thing of the first month, I went through the mines. And I did it so fast that I did it before I released the... Uh, Gi spoilers the giant from the tree i actually got to the the last floor in like two days three days somewhere around there but i got there and i got to where the spoilers again earth giant is and the earth giant um wouldn't release after i got the regular giant from the tree out the chief he just it, it wouldn't activate the cutscenes. so my word of advice for you do not do that. Do not go ahead because it is a. Uh, it could be a problem apparently. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people really tried to rush it like I did. I just was trying to see if I could do it, and I did. Wouldn't recommend. But I'm gonna clean up the farm until the store opens, and we're gonna plant some seeds today. We're gonna build some. Well, actually, we're gonna wait till tomorrow when I can build some scarecrows. So. Um, Let's not clean up the farm then. We could do that tomorrow. I don't want to buy the seeds right now if you know yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do it. Uh I'll keep these. Might as well. Um, this is trash. Which is kind of funny considering. Um there it is. And then We'll put the coffer in here, which is just like the treasure trove from Stardew Valley. Um, we'll put those in there. We'll sell those. Because I can't build a scarecrow yet. So there's no point. Also, we built seven of those. We'll take the 12, so we have 19. We'll take that. All right, I'll meet you guys at the mines. All right, here we are. So I've been through here, I've made it through here, and I'm pretty sure I got to here. This wasn't available whenever I was playing last, but I never went through this one fully. I just went to here, here, and then got to here. Get back, get back. You, the weak looking farmer, get back. That's kind of rude. Get back from the mon- Wait a minute, where are the monsters? Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels. If you did it last night, which is what I'm guessing, why would you think there'd be more monsters? But the quake, hmm. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? Sure did. There are our friends we have to rescue. Spoilers, sorry. If you're watching me play an early, someone play an early access game, not just me, but anyone, you should know there's going to be spoilers. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. Wait, what? <laughs> wouldn't you... That's weird. Wouldn't you... Be, my, your character would be like... Wait, curses. I'm cursed? <laughs> Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining, which makes totally a total amount of sense, you know? Farmers mine all the day, all the time, every day. In case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. Yep, there it is. 
From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to the other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. The caves have them aplenty. Just don't forget they have monsters too. Oh, I won't. I remember the monsters clearly. Take this sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. I will say this. Whenever I played the Game Pass version, the uh, time I played the Game Pass part, um, there was only a certain amount of monsters, but when I played it again, there were some new monsters added, and they were kind of crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate how this resizes every time. Just make it one size and make it longer or something. It's kind of annoying when it does this. Anyways, there's my reward. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. So I there's some monsters that, you know, I want to show off that you've probably already seen if you've uh, played this game. But they were pretty cool. They didn't work that well. I will say that. they Some of them were pretty glitchy. A lot of them were pretty glitchy, especially the bats. Another thing... Oh, hey, we got a mystery geode. And a regular geode. Oh, no, that's just... Okay, never mind. It just showed a regular geode on the tips. Uh, one other thing is... Um, sometimes it could take forever for you to find a hole that leads out of here. It's very annoying. Uh, this thing. You hit it. You follow it. And eventually you'll get a bunch of ores. Uh, one other thing that was pretty hard to get is coal. Coal is uh, pretty annoying in this game to get, at least in the mines. I don't know if there's a machine for it. I don't remember. But yeah, see? Destroyed a lot of little rocks. Finally got the hole. Now, it's like that in Stardew as well. And it can be very annoying in Stardew. But I feel like it's way worse in this game. Like, it could take forever. I've destroyed almost... I think there was a couple floors that were massive. And I destroyed, like, pretty much all the rocks in it. And finally got it near the end when there was barely any rocks left. And it can happen in Stardew, it's just, I don't know, it just feels worse. One coal? That looked like two. But that's why you bring in a hell of a lot of candy tree seeds, and you can find tons of them. As you saw in the chests, there was at least five in both of those chests. And then you can make them pretty easily, too. What the f- This is new? This is a new monster? I've never seen this one. It looks like a caterpillar- a duck in a caterpillar suit. <laughs> what the hell? That was a new monster. Also, a new thing that came out whenever um, I started doing the compilation thing was uh, weapon skills or something like that. I think all weapons share the same one, but it's pretty much just a special attack like this. But yeah, those uh, caterpillars were not in here the last time I played. So that's kind of crazy. Last time I played, there was something weird in here that like jumped up in the air and then slammed down. But it was kind of messy, where you could like literally kill it when it was still in the air, but you couldn't reach it with your sword, but you could still attack it, and you could kill it before it landed. There is a new feature that you can do if you go to your settings, and you go to accessibility, I believe it was. Or was it? No, it wasn't in that. Where was it? Game? Combat mode. You can turn a default or hit to aggro, so monsters will not aggro towards you. Will not aggro you. What the hell? That reset my OBS. That's weird. That was just the menu. What the hell? Usually it doesn't do that unless I get out unless I click on the other monitor. Alright, well never mind on going to the settings unless I pause the game. But uh yeah, it lets it to where you, at least I'm guessing from the way it sounds, where monsters won't attack you unless you attack them first. Lots of slime. Slime is very good to get in this game because you can turn it into food. Later on, not now. I'm not saying I will make it to level 10, but I'm hoping they didn't change the level 10 reward because the level 10 reward was amazing. So we are six floors away from that, so... Who knows if we'll even reach that. I've had, every time I've been to floor 4 to floor 5 in these caverns, floor 4 has always taken one of the longest to get to the next floor. Yeah, those look like more than one coal. I should not have missed right there, that's bullcrap. Alright, 
Eat. Oh, come on. The cursor was there. There we go. Now we can go down. Floor 5. Yeah, I was going to say, Floor 5 usually has a bunch of copper. Or, sorry, bronze. It's bronze in this game, isn't it? I don't like how I can hit monsters through rocks. They're annoying. That means I have to go around to try to kill them. Yeah, that was my fault right there. But yeah, bronze ore. It's bronze in this game. It's usually bronze or copper, and it's kind of amazing. So many games have it differently. Now, see, I've been through five floors already, and I've only gotten two pieces of coal. Two pieces of coal, and I've destroyed quite a bit of rocks. Coal is very annoying in this game to get, at least through the mines. Maybe it gets better in the third mines or something, but in this one and the water one, like, man, I could barely ever get any coal. Oh, wow, that was fast. Yeah, sometimes it can be fast like that, which is nice. Um, will you come up, please? Alright. Oh, wow. I do want to look through this place first, though. Eh. Doesn't really seem like much. Alright, to the next floor. I'm so glad fighting doesn't take uh, energy, though it doesn't do that in Stardew either, so. I have noticed that monsters barely do any damage to me. It's kind of weird. Oh, oh wow, that that's the I think that's the fastest I've, I've ever gotten one, like the first hit. Like, see, monsters aren't even a threat. They don't barely do any damage to you. Alright, we're getting there. We're on floor 8. There we go. Let's explore this floor a bit. I don't really like the caterpillar monsters. They're annoying. They go, they go away and I have to wait to hit them. Okay. Nice. Now I got three coal through eight floors. It's like a coal every other floor. Every other other floor. Alright, take another candy tree seed. Be cool if you could plant these candy tree. Ooh, nice. It would be cool if you could plant these candy tree seeds and like grow a candy tree. That'd be awesome. If there's ever mods for it, that'd be cool to look into. Ooh, three coal. Nice. I feel like I barely ever get anything from those boxes unless it's like wood. But nice. That's awesome. I did not expect that. Alright, anything over here? Yep, there's slime and a chance for coal. Now, look at those boxes. Those look like coal. I got one bronze ore and a granite. Ooh, granite. You can turn those into the museum. I don't think the shrine needs minerals like that, but I'm not 100%. I don't remember what they needed, so I'm going to save it until I unlock the shrine. And the, Oh, didn't mean to hit the big one. And the problem about the shrine, though, is until you unlock that certain part of the shrine, you're not going to know. Alright, is the present... At least I believe so. Is the uh, present the same thing? Is it, is it the best thing ever? It is the best thing ever. The Ring of Speed. Now, the Ring of Speed is awesome. So, you see how I attack right now, right? Pretty slow, right? Eh, eh, eh. If you equip the Ring of Speed... It makes you attack way faster, and it also affects all your other tools, so watering and everything just becomes really fast. It's kind of cool we get that early on. Let's go ahead and go down again. Now, I doubt I can make it another five floors, but I mean, what else is there to do today? So we might as well do it, right? Let's get another tree seed. 
Now you might be thinking, oh look, a treasure chest. No, those are monsters. They're not mimics either because they don't pretend to be not a monster. They're, they're just treasure chest monsters. And these things. And orange slimes. Nice. Now, I noticed that when you kill these things, sometimes they'll hurt you after you kill them. So, like, back up a little bit. Some more granite. Nice. Kill this one. Ooh, nice. Next day, we should be able to... Ooh, it lagged a little bit there. The next day, we should be able to get some, uh... What is it? Um, explosives. We should be able to get the recipe for it, so... I'm pretty sure one of the floor rewards is, like, explosive threes. If I can make it five more floors, that'd be awesome, but I'm not holding my breath on it. Out, it's gonna happen. All right, let's eat another one of these. That's all the little rocks over here. There we go. crystal ones yep I got some wood uh, no just in case I always only eat one after I get pretty low I'll eat one that way just in case I get to uh, a fifth floor I don't waste it you know it saves some in the long run you're starting to feel tired we'll go ahead and eat one right now because I know I'm gonna because I doubt I'm gonna find it right away I believe there's a part in the mines, I don't, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, where you'll have to make it 10 floors without an elevator in between. So we'll need to stack up on food for that. I believe it's 20 to 30 or something like that. So I'm not 100% on that. Let's destroy the crate. Explosives help out a lot later. If you can make a lot of explosives, you'll always get through the mines pretty fast. Just gotta be smart where you place stuff. Oh, come on. Give me that exit, please. And I'm... Almost 99.99% sure you can't get an exit through a monster. Come on. Give me that exit. I've destroyed so many rocks. Alright, the game's going to be uh, stingy. I see how it is. Give me the... Other floor, please. There we go. It was over here the whole time. I don't know if it's automatically placed when you enter a floor or if it's just random on when you get it through a rock. I have no idea. This doesn't lead to anything. You can't go anywhere into this. It said torch because you can turn the torches off. Which I wish I didn't do that. I don't know if turning them all off or activating them all on a level will do anything. I highly doubt it, though. Well, there's the exit, but I kind of want to see what's um, further ahead. All 
All right, there's nothing. It was a waste of time and waste of stamina. I'm not going to eat another tree seed because we're on floor 15. Nice. Let's just go. We made it to 15. We made it through 15 floors on the first day. That's awesome. And now we got 1,600 and possibly more that we can spend tomorrow on seeds, which is just going to be great. So a scarecrow can do 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 24 different spots for a scarecrow. I'm pretty sure 2, 2, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 2. Yeah, 24 spots. So we'll have to, you know, even that out. I'm going to buy, tw probably buy 24 of each seed that I can if I have the money for it. I'm going to try to get the ones that take the longest first. I think that makes more sense. I didn't mean to do that. Um, these will not go in here. These will not go in there. Um, these will not go in there. These will go in here. So, I can get these anytime. I'm not the slime. Keep the slime. Um, I'm pretty sure the museum wants one and I don't know about, I don't know about the shrine. So, you will need these for other things, but I want money enough to buy some seeds. So, we're going to sell some stuff and we can always get more of them. I'm not worried about that, you know? Oh, mail. Wow. Okay. Hey, kid, I've noticed that the elevator for the air shaft now reaches level 10. 15. I'm aware that it was your doing. Since you've shown yourself to be capable, here's a task. Defeat 30 monsters and swing by our guild room once the job is completed. Consider this your entrance exam. The guild is right beside my house. Okay. We're going to sell those two. All right. Let's go to bed. We're going to be fighting a lot of monsters, so I don't care about selling the loot too bad much because we'll get a bunch of it. We can finally make a scarecrow. My god. And we get mining, which gives us explosive one. And combat. Ball of goop. This is the food right here. Nice. We made quite a bit of money. All right. So if we go to this real quick, explosives cost bronze and coal. Don't know where you're getting all the, the red part from, the wick and everything, but it's just bronze and coal, which waste of, don't make these waste. Slime goop, though. This is food. This is food. This is a trap. We'll slow down enemies. I've never needed to use traps. Um, scarecrows. We'll do that a different, different time. Excuse me. 60 energy, 50 health. All right, 60 energy. 50 health. Ah, uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this a different time. I was going to show you the difference, but because I was going to end the episode here, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do this next episode. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.